Greg LeBlanc, and I'm here with Nan Nyack, who is uh, strategy lead for design and innovation at Fjord, which is the design wing of Accenture. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Nan. Thank you. So, Nan, Accenture is generally thought of as kind of one of the more technological of consulting firms, and yet here you are um, essentially representing a design firm. Um, how, how is it that uh, design has become so much more important in the world of technology? That's right. Um, Accenture acquired Fjord a couple of years ago uh, just to address this issue. As uh, digitization has changed fundamentally how companies work um, and how consumer lives work, we found that the buying patterns of uh, technology have changed. You know, it's the business side that's now driving a lot of the technology decision making. And it's fundamentally not just about IT, but it's really about the complete company changing based on digitization. And that requires us to really take an outside-in approach um, to how companies are doing that, looking at it from a customer experience perspective, employee experience perspective, where design becomes really important. And this is the reason why I'm here. I'm a cognitive psychologist at, at a technology company like Accenture. Now, you've talked a bit about kind of the um, plethora of apps that we have in our lives and the need to have some curation of all these apps to simplify um, uh, how we use all this technology. Can you talk a little more about that? That's right. Um, every year, Fjord um, looks at um, consumer behavior patterns that are emerging. And one of the things that um, I talked about uh, is that you know we used to be in the age of the internet where we loved all of the great amount of information that we had access to, and then we had the age of mobility where we could take it around with us everywhere. But I think now we're beginning to see that we have too much information, too many apps, and uh, the new generation of experiences are focused on how to simplify human experience by not having too many apps and having to go to them, but really create the, you know, uh, intent, uh, address the intent of the customer through curating across these apps. So we believe one of the key trends that's going to happen is the emergence of platforms that allow you to talk to different apps through APIs um, that actually answer the question the customer has without having to go to 15 apps to do that. So in the enterprise we all know about how uh, companies automate decisions which frees up kind of human decision making for um, more complicated issues. Do you see the same thing happening in people's uh, personal lives, in uh, the lives of consumers? Yes. I, I think um, this whole, we, we've called this, Fjord has called this uh, liquid expectations, right? We're all ultimately consumers. And whether we are in our homes or at work, and now the, the lines between those are blurring, uh, we expect the best experience to drive our expectations of every other experience. So um, when you go back to work, you're, you're in not tolerant of, of the complexity that's driving. And because, once again, you have so much digitization happening, so many tools available, that there's just too much burden on empl employees to, to deal with this. So I think you'll begin to f uh, have you know, machine learning and artificial intelligence begin to simplify uh, the types of decisions employees have to make, just like consumers have to make, and really focus on the key decisions that require the human input. So um, machine-enabled, uh, um, human-centric uh, would probably be an approach I would take to both employee experiences and consumer experiences. Thank you, Nan. Thank you.